at the end of the day, you still have to deal with your problems, regardless who the president is. And my and, and my Lord and Savior ain't on the ballot, so I ain't even I ain't even upset about it either way. It don't bother me either way. But regardless of who the president is, guess what? You still have to deal with you and your crap. And what are you gonna do about that? You can't go shoot everybody just because you have a bad day. You can't just go off and well, like what what is the you said it right. What is the how do you even get to those steps? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, think about it, man. The dude is 20 years old. That means he was born in 2004. Come on. So, like, just process that. Like, that was just on the heels of 9-11. So we're in a, we're in a, he's never not known TSA. He's never not known the front, the term Islamophobia. Come on. Um, All of that stuff. So please understand, and I told people this on my channel before, please understand, he's the product of public school. And by the way, we're not running public school. Oh no! So that that's not our. We didn't do that. That's y'all. That's your team did that. So please understand, this is the byproduct of y'all's team because come on, you can tell that there is a reason why. In retrospect, I understand why my dad said, "Men don't cry, boys. Yeah. You better not start crying." Because yeah. there is a feminization that happens when you just when you just emote. When you run around here like e Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, yeah, come you go on around now. like this, it, it, you're just letting your emotions just hang out all over the place. Because one thing that we have different than women is the fact that we are stronger than them. Yes. And yes. I hate to say it, we're far more devious. So if we're just running around here letting our emotions run, run rampant and there's no guardrails, there's no control for our emotions, this is what we get. Mm -hmm. You don't get a well-balanced, well-thought-out, well-poised, willing to look at situations and ascertain situations. You don't get that. You get a male woman. Yes. You get a, a, a woman wearing pants instead of a skirt. That's all you get. And But the problem is we're stronger, so we can do things far worse than women could do. So, yes. and please, women, don't try to um, one up us on being dastardly, please. That's not a challenge to feminine to go start wars or anything. What I am pointing out, however, is this young man is the byproduct of our society when our society has completely done away with the masculine guardrails that we need. We need men who are poised in their frame that understand how to deal with their emotions and let their emotions simmer and boil and then die down, not yes. explode out of them because that's, that's yes. it. And so when we, when we do nothing more than just say, Oh no, no, you got to let it all out. Well, they're, they don't know how to control them. There's not controls. And when you're, when you're not in the home, if you have daughters, you all know that any man, that is in the house with girls knows you have to tell them control your emotions. Cause if they yes. could, their emotions would splatter up would paint your walls if they could, but you have to call them in and wrangle them in. If you don't, you, you're going to be a mess. If you got more than one girl and you got a wife in the house, bro, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, so, sir. <laughs> but you have to be the one to be like, okay, my daughter called me today. Uh, shout out president firstborn. I'm sorry, she called me yesterday. I was here at the studio doing a recording and she called me and she's like, uh, I, I was busy. So as soon as I could get, get free, I, I reached out to her and she's like, I was really having a rough go at it because I didn't do well on a, a practice test for something she was doing. And she's, I really just need to talk it out. But I got myself together. When I got home, I expected, you know, her to like boil a bunny or something like really gone crazy. She was just cool, calm and collected. And I said, hey, so so tell me what happened. She's like, yeah, I was really not feeling well. I was really in a bad spot, but I got myself together and I calmed down. I'm telling you right now, that is because I have told her to calm down. Yep. Any other time, any other rhyme, she would have, again, she would have painted my walls in yep. all of her emotions. <laughs> and it'd just be the most ridiculous things. But that's what we're supposed to do. So I could only imagine, however, if President Firstborn was a boy that had not, did not have guardrails and, and framework for how to calm yourself down, stop and think, what it, what, you know, what's the situation going on and so forth. There'd be, there'd be havoc in my house. Yes. There'd be havoc. Cause I, then I'd have a, a girl, a feminine boy yep. who's 
probably probably as tall as me, probably faster than me. Yep. He ain't stronger than me, but my goodness in the morning, it can cause a lot more problems. Yep. So this is what happens. Congratulations, y'all. Y'all have created these problems. Um, those persons that don't want men, y'all called it toxic masculinity. Yes. I bet y'all want some toxicity now. I bet right. you say, hey, well, what's the pH balance on that on that masculinity? Because I kind of want some of that right I want, about I want now. The high levels. Of you want the high level. Is it nuclear waste or is it just like a uh, yellow cake mix? I, I, I don't know, I, I, but I want, I want some the, toxicity. I want the green bunny with the five eyes. Right. You I want some masculinity. toxicity right about now. I right. promise you. As sure as things, when soon as things go left, nobody reaching and calling for something. When, you're, when your tire blows out on the side of the road, you're not calling for your girlfriends to come get you. Right. You calling that ex-boyfriend that you didn't that you ghosted, your friend's own friend. You like, hey, um uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what you call friend. it. So you want toxic masculinity. Y'all called it toxic. But y'all now y'all like realize like, oh wait, hold on. Well, um uh, maybe I was a little bit rash in my in my approach. See how you see how that works? See when things go left, y'all really quickly understand that God in his infinite in amazing wisdom.